On a scale of 1 to 10, rate the overall job of the current county commission and why. Well, I would give, I would give it an 8. I, 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 I believe that uh, the county commission has a job to do, and their, their first loyalty and first priority is the county budget. And they cannot drive the county into, into uh, insolvency by swinging in the wind, depending on, on uh, public opinion. But I believe that their intent could be uh, more fully explained, better explained, and I think the, the public would uh, have a better understanding of, of uh, what the issues are at this, at this time in, in our county. All right, this next question goes to Mr. Palmer. How do you view the entire county commission's role in county government? Um, I'm not sure how you mean to, to divide that up. Uh, the East and West County Commissioners, uh, their biggest chore is taking care of the constituents out in those areas. In the East County, uh, the biggest problem is with our, our roads, and so there's a lot of challenge with that. Uh, the presiding commissioner is uh, the main one that's in charge of that, and most of the budgetary issues there, and it's the job of the other two commissioners to make sure that they give him the support and understand uh, well the, the positions that the county is in on those issues. So it's a matter of working together to create a good working environment for the county. Okay, this question will be for Mr. Campbell. It comes from the audience. As a voice of reason, what was the thought process used in coming up with a $500 fine for driving through a parking lot? I believe that's a reference to a city council decision. It's a good question, uh, and I think I can explain it. Uh, I believe in individuals' property rights, um, meaning that owners of property have a right uh, to do with it what they want without government intervention. This, this case was actually just the opposite of that. This was a case where a owner of a property requested assistance from the government and uh, I felt like we needed to give the owner of that property the assistance that he requested. All right, this is a, this is a specific question to Mr. Danny Thom Thompson. Danny Thomas, he was, a, he was famous. <laughs> now you're going to be famous. <laughs> okay. The county commission just agreed to raise wages across the board up to a 5% increase at, at the department or office holder's discretion. Do you think that is enough, too much, or too little? I think that was uh, probably a fair percentage. Uh, the uh, people that's worked there for several years hasn't had a raise. And, uh, and I think uh, they've done a good job of that. Uh, everybody wants more, and uh, I think uh, the commission would get more if they could. I think they do what they, they feel like is what they can do at the time. <clears throat> and uh, uh, I think everybody deserves a fair wage, and uh, so I believe it was it's a good uh, fair wage raise. Yes. Okay. So now we're going to ask. Okay. okay. This question will be all four of you then. We'll start with Mr. Weeder. If elected, how quickly could you resolve the road funding issue, and how would you do it? Uh, he actually started last night. Oh, did he? Yeah. What's that? Wait. Should be Mr. Paul. Should be Mr. Paul. Okay. Apologies. Thank you. I don't think the county commissioners and resolve that issue unless some of the road district people are willing to cooperate as well. Uh, it's, a, it's a hard issue. Um, 
there's probably factions that aren't going to be happy with any decision that's made. But the first thing that has to be recognized is that we've got to consider the entire county. We've got to consider what the ballot uh, language was. We've got to consider the fact that uh, half of the people in the county didn't vote on that issue but are still paying the tax. So we need to sit together as a group, come up with reasonable compromises, and make sure that we fund them the, the best that we can with the, with the monies that are on hand. To Mr. Campbell, if elected, how quickly could you resolve the fu road funding issue, and how would you do it? I don't think it would be real quick. Um, and I don't think we're talking about, we're not talking about the, um, uh, the issue that's in the news now about the uh, special roads, are we? Can you clarify that? Yes. Oh, it is about that. Okay, okay. Uh, well, number one, I think we need to work with the, uh, with the cities and the uh, special road districts and the entities. Um, they are due shares of this money. Um, the county clerk told the people what they were voting for, and that's what a majority of people voted for. If elected, how quickly could you resolve the road funding issue, and how would you do it? Well, this would be a, a matter of time. Uh, it wouldn't be a, probably a one-year remedy, but uh, there might, there again, uh, something was mentioned earlier, maybe one eight cent sales tax can, can help on the issue of this, and like sheriff's departments. Uh, I believe we, using our funds wisely on the roads would, would help and uh, uh, taking, uh, changing the uh, road districts uh, uh, at this time I don't think is a good idea. I think uh, uh, that would have to be a well thought out plan and, and probably have to be over maybe a period of several years to, to do a program like that. From, from August 8th on, who, whoever wins this election is going to have to get involved in, the, in, in trying to solve this problem. You know, I don't think anybody up here wants to see the, the Ozark, uh, the city of Ozark, uh, the Ozark Special Road, any of the Special Road districts um, collapse. So, uh, one approach to that is, is to have them prioritize what they think their budget needs are going to be next year, and and we will uh, evaluate them. That's the way I had to do as a department head in the hospital. There's nothing wrong with that. If we can't agree to that, then at the, the last uh, thing I would say is let's rewrite the language, make it clear, concise, and let the voters have another shot at it. questions again and the first individual question would go to Eddie is that correct yes okay how is the county health this is from the audience 